top five Japanese robots just revealed. This is bad. Japan is estimated to produce half of all the robots in the world. According to a report, the global market for industrial robots in 2011 was $8.497 billion, of which Japanese enterprises accounted for a share of 50.2%, whereas the total market for industrial robots in a broader sense, including electronic packaging machines, was $13.36 billion, with Japanese entities making up 57.3% of this market. Pretty amazing, right? Well, the stats speak for themselves. Japan has one of the most amazing robots in the world, and in today's video, we're going to talk about five robots that Japan has made that are pretty next level. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the tech trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. Let us start the video. The robot culture in Japan has had an influence of the industry of robots. There are a number of reasons Japan became one of the most advanced nations in the field of robotics. Not only because of the highly advanced technology, but also because of the influence that the Japanese robot culture has had. Since the 1950s, Japan has had many comics, novels, animations about robots. Astro Boy is considered to be the first robot anime slash comic in 1951. Since then, there have been a number of robot-themed productions that have originated in Japan, such as Mazinga Z, Gundam, Robotech, Evangelion, Transformer, and others. In fact, Japan is the second largest robot maker in the world after the United States. And aside from that, the robotics industry is more important in Japan than it is in any other country in the world. It is estimated that Japan currently has around a quarter million industrial robots employed in its factories. Japan estimates that number to jump to over 1 million in the next 15 years, and they expect the revenue for robotics to reach more than $70 billion by 2025. There is not only a huge market for the production and creation of robots in Japan, but there is also a really large market for robots in Japan. In 2015, Japan was the second largest market for the sale of robots in the world, because there are many advanced factories producing automobiles and electronics in the country. And some of them are Number 1. Asimo by Honda The Asimo robot is one of the most advanced humanoid robots in the world. It is designed and developed by Honda. It is believed that Asimo is the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet as of 2015. In the 80s, ASIMO, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, was being worked on, and by the year 2000, it was finally unveiled. ASIMO was designed to be a multifunctional mobile assistant that can handle a variety of tasks. The model was developed with the intention of supporting those who are not fully mobile, and is often used in demonstrations everywhere in the world to encourage the study of science and mathematics. In a lifelike environment, Asimo is 130 centimeters tall and weighs 48 kilograms, making him suitable for a variety of real-life environments, and able to run at speeds of up to 6 kilometers per hour on two feet. Asimo is now part of the Innovations attraction at Disneyland and has been featured in a 15-minute show since the year 2005. Over the course of the years, Asimo has played soccer with President Obama, won over Kelly Reaper, created a dance group, and had some clumsy moments like falling while trying to climb two flights of stairs. Now comes number two, Curio by Sony. The Curio is the first humanoid robot that is capable of running. Sony's Curio was a humanoid bipedal entertainment robot developed and marketed but never sold by the company. It stood about 0.6 meters high and weighed approximately 7.3 kilograms. Curio possesses both voice and face recognition capabilities, making it capable of recognizing and remembering people as well as their likes and dislikes. As shown in a video on Curio's website, the robot is seen interacting with several children. Curio has the ability to run at a speed of 23 centimeters per second and is listed in Guinea's World Records as the first bipedal humanoid robot capable of running, which is defined as being able to move while both legs are off the ground at the same time. It is estimated that the fourth generation Curio's internal battery will last for approximately an hour and a half. Throughout the years, he has played golf at professional tournaments at Hawaii, appeared on Japanese TV shows such as Astro Boy, danced and sang on stages everywhere from Las Vegas to Hong Kong, and even conducted the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra in a stirring rendition of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Number 3. Partner Robots by Toyota these are the first humanoid robots in the world that can play instruments. Toyota Partner Robots are a series of humanoid robots that are being developed by Toyota. 
In 2005, they played music on drums, trumpets, and violins at the World Expo of Aichi, Japan, which was their first performance. Overall, there are five robots, most of which have a different type of movement system. These five robots consist of version 1, a bipedal robot, version 2, a Segway-like wheel, version 3, a Segway-like wheel, and version 4, a wired system unique to the robot. So I guess it's kind of like One Direction of robots. Toyota released a video in July 2009 of their robots running and standing skills, and it was noted that it reached a speed of 7 km per hour. Number 4, Kirobo, Robi, by Robo Garage. Kirobo is the first humanoid robot, Astronaut, developed by a collaborative effort between Dentsu, the University of Tokyo, Robo Garage, Toyota, and JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. It was made to accompany Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station, ISS. Kirobo arrived at the International Space Station on August 10, 2013, on JAXA's H2 transfer vehicle, Kunotori 4 a Japanese unmanned resupply craft launched from Japan's Tanegashima Space Center on August 4, 2013. Among the robot's capabilities are voice and speech recognition, natural language processing, speech synthesis, telecommunications, as well as the ability to record videos and recognize faces. It is a robot specially designed to navigate zero-gravity environments and will assist Commander Wakata in various experiments. Number 5. HRP-3 by Kavada Industry the Humanoid Robotics Project 3, HRP3, is the final robotic platform for Humanoid Robotics Project sponsored by the Japan Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, METI, through the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, NEDO. An interesting feature of HRP3 is that it is capable of standing up again after lying flat on the floor, either on its back or its front. That is something that Honda Zosimo is not capable of. In incorporating the many functions in HRP-3, it has been demonstrated that HRP-3 is capable of operating in an adverse environments, such as construction sites, with ease and effectiveness. With the experience gained from the development of HRP-3, Kavada intends to continue to reduce the costs associated with robot hardware by further stabilizing and improving the hardware. In addition, Kavada strives to produce robots that are capable of effectively performing within a normal human environment in order to assist daily activities in the day-to-day -day life of humans. Bonus number 6, iFoot by Toyota. The iFoot is a robot that is capable of walking and mounting on a wall. It is a two-legged robot with a mountable design that offers three-dimensional mobility and the capability of navigating staircases. It is driven by a joystick and is controlled by the passenger. As the egg-shaped shape of the iFoot is shaped around the user, it is meant to represent the view of future three-dimensional mobility, the feeling of safety and the sense of reliability. In the design of the bird-like legs, which bend toward the rear, the primary consideration was the ability to mount and dismount the vehicle quickly and easily. The iFoot is controlled by a joystick to control steering and speed, making it a fun and exciting way to drive compared to other forms of mobility. And that's it for today. Don't forget to comment down your favorite robot from this video. And you can also tell us about the other humanoid robots which we missed talking about in the video. Anyway, we hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And catch you in the next video. Until then, peace!